Hey there, this is Brett with Vitality Massage and uh, yesterday I spent the whole day slow, slow cooking at a low, low temperature pinto beans. And uh, I put about the right amount of water in the pot and the pinto beans and I turned it on keep warm which is the lowest temperature on a slow cooking pot, a crock pot. And um, it looks like that now that it's cooked for over 24 hours on a very low temperature. And I know that it's probably not hurting the food because I could keep my finger in there and it wasn't too hot to burn it. So that, that's how you can tell. Now this is wet slow cooking. If I were to dry slow cook something in the oven, then I could turn it up a lot higher, like 180 degrees. If you've ever gone and... Hey, honey. Oh, it's nice. If you've ever gone and sat in a dry sauna at your health club, <clears throat> you know that uh, you can sit in there at a higher temperature because dry heat can be a lot hotter than wet heat. So those are things to think about in regards to your slow cooking and keeping your food alive. So, um... Anyways, these pinto beans are a little bit different in that they're not squishy when you eat them. They're a little bit firmer, but they're very digestible. Kind of like sprouted cooked combo, if you will. They sat in this hot temperature uh, water and they sprouted and cooked at the same temperature, or same time. So here's Carlos over here eating a little sample of some of the food that I cooked. Well, including the beans, and um, hey, Carlos. Hi, how are you? This is fantastic. I just trying your beans. Good, Delicious. good. Good taste. Now the beans taste a little different because they're not squishy. They're a little bit firmer, but they're still totally edible, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Good, good. So, in conclusion, when we find shades of gray <laughs> in between. That's when we find the compromises in life. And the closer we come to the center, the closer we come to Jah, to God, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, and all the rest. Namaste.